Hello everybody, short intro because of Pogla, but um, this is Aero BB, match day number 5, up against PK83 with his necromantic team. Um, he's had a poor start of the season, but he's, he's, he's apparently made the playoffs every season, so a good coach. He's got an amazing wolf, movement 9, strength 4, he's got a couple of tacklers, he's got a dirty player, he's got loads of inducements. So this is going to be uh, very, very dodgy. Um, Necro are a tough team to deal with, 4 dark elves. Obviously, I can't really pile on with my new jump up Pommer because he'll get fouled by zombies. Um, yeah, it's just an annoying, annoying, annoying team to face. Uh, you know, Drew drew the last one. I drew the last one against Necro despite him rolling two quad skulls in the game, right? <laughs> and he slaughtered half my team. So he's gone double bribe. I debated whether to get a Witch Elf before this match or not. And obviously if I'd got the Witch Elf, he would have got Chaney. And Chaney might have been <laughs> might have been better for me than than two bribes slaughtering my team. So, yeah, that's... I'm not sure. Not sure about that I've made the right decision there. It's going to be tough. It's going to be a very tough game. Okay, he is kicking. Let's hope he puts somebody surfable and uh, his best player on the LOS. <laughs> Banter! <laughs> I usually do. It's true as well. This team, this team has had some cursed games. <laughs> like, it's uh, obviously pretty lucky in the last one. The comedy mega, but... Um, this team has had some absolutely cursed, cursed games. Yes, leave him on the LOS. LOS that ghoul, please. Diced. Uh, the last match was Orcs. The other necro, uh, the 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 neck, the other necro was the one where he rolled two quad skulls, and then in the first half, and then second half, he uh, just destroyed my whole team. And that was two games ago. But yeah, I I, I, di I diced the orcs. I diced the orcs a hundred percent, hundred percent. I pretty much diced the the lizard men, even though I didn't need to. Right, the the lizard man team wasn't wasn't a very good team, to be honest. It didn't have pretty much anything that could do anything to me. He had to get he had to get unbelievably lucky to even have a chance. Not a, not a disrespect to the person, the coach, or his bloodballing abilities, which uh, some people get very precious about their perceived bloodball abilities. But it wasn't anything like that. It was just the teams, right? The team was his team was way 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 out of its league. <laughs> It's a fantastic team. It's very good, yep. But Necro are tricky. <laughs> they are, Necro are tricky. Necro are a tricky team. To face. Very tricky. Right, who are we skilling here? That's the question, isn't it? She's on 53. She's probably not going to get the 76. He could get... He doesn't need... Ooh, so he could try and go to block. That would be very good, wouldn't it? 23. He could try and get the block. That's 8 away. I think him trying to get the 16 is maybe better. Sidestep. I haven't got many sidesteppers because I didn't app all the, the other sidestepper. Hmm. 
I mean, it, it, it's not even the skills. Like, he's he's got a couple of tacklers. He's got the wolves. And he's got fouls, right? So he's he's got he's got tools. He should have fielded the dirty player, in my opinion. But um, he's certainly got... To, like, they've got the tools. They don't need to be... Like, obviously, he's down, he's down a lot of TV. Do you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not hyping it up as if it's the battle of the century or anything, but even though his team is worse, his team is obviously worse, right? He's down 300 up. 300 odd TV. He's down 330 TV. Though he's actually up 20 because he's scummed. Tanks! <laughs> this guy can't fucking get the completion. Can he one turn without a blitz? Yeah, of course he can. He's got another, he's got another wolf, yeah. <laughs> Filthy non subs. <laughs> Disgusterous. Oh shit. Now I've got to do the pass first. Oh god. Don't double one it, mate. Phew. I mean, he could have just done the pass, actually. He's on fucking 64. He's going to get the 76, isn't he? No, of course, nothing works. Nothing works, Pogler, because I had to disable the sound effects because of you. Now I can put them back on again. Glorious Dacker. God knows nobody wants to play Blood Bowl. <laughs> Jimmy Fantastic <laughs> shit at this game. Thanks, Pogler. A glorious dacker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if PK83 had put his movement 9 strength 4 wolf on the LOS, I would have bombed it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's glorious looking on numbers. Yeah, I, I struggle. I'll be honest with you. I struggle when I, when I don't get the deck. <laughs> oh, dear. It's a nightmare. It's a nightmare not being able to deck, I tell you. Absolute mare. He want to. Uh... I mean, he's a really good thing for breaking through. That's the problem. He's Sixteen away. I mean, get him getting blocked would be really nice, wouldn't it? Really nice. I can take these away from the sideline now, actually. I could, should have done. Actually, should have done. She should have taken them away from the sideline. I had to have them there in case of a blitz, obviously. But now I could have taken them away. Oh, okay. Just 
Shove your balls in my face. <laughs> I totally forgot about that one. <laughs> hey, Mrs. I, to I totally forgot about that one. Oh my god. That's a pretty good one, isn't it? That's a pretty good one. <laughs> Just shove your balls in my face. I do think the best Hancock one is the, uh... <laughs> You're like, gutter without the talent. <laughs> you're like the, uh, you're like the gutter of football, don't you? Just without the talent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, class. So let's go for another another turn of backing up. <laughs> oh, okay, just shoot. Oh, I had five re rolls. Uh, well, now I've got one for every turn, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't really care about catching it. Plus, this kind of might trick him into doing something, right? He might think, ah, he's failed something. Ah, ooh, this is my chance. <laughs> oh man, imagine if he just fireballed. Imagine if he just fireballed and scored. <laughs> It would have been a pretty easy score, right, if he'd got some knockdowns. If he'd got some knockdowns there, that could have been an actually an easy score. Flip me. I really should have. I really should have. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I really should have. Uh, that would have been the best play. Honestly, fireball these four. Blitz one with a tackle guy. And then uh, and then go for the pickup score, yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I like that play. I like it. Now I've got to think. Excuse me. No, I'm not really going to think. I'm just going to punch and stay where I am. forward next turn. Or it's still very easy to go the other way. Just a little nudge over in this direction. Well, now I could have re-rolled it, couldn't I? Hmm. 
I mean, it's always a juicy fireball, right? The problem is, <laughs> I've got so many good players, <laughs> it can't not be a juicy fireball. I mean, he got really fucking lucky, man, didn't he? Four out of five and two removals. He couldn't have got any luckier, basically. <laughs> as about as lucky as he could have been. Maybe I should have had him one over to guard against that a little bit more. Yeah, five out of five all dead, yeah. But he couldn't have got much better, could he? Jesus Christ. I guess the Daka versus a wizard <laughs> is a little bit worse. But also, he didn't have to get quite so lucky, did he? Do you know what I mean? Like, he didn't have to get as lucky as he got. I'm not saying it was a bad player, but he just it was just very lucky, right? You, it can be the correct player and exceedingly lucky as well. I think it, I think it probably was the right player. And in fact, I think the right play was to do it the turn before. <laughs> I think doing it before would have been the right play. Just, just you know, people can do. You know, people just don't have to get lucky when they do the right play, do they? <laughs> and people don't have to get unlucky when they do the wrong play. Like people, he could have done the wrong play and it could have got really lucky. But uh, I didn't really care about the value of the fireball, just because it's always going to be a valuable fireball versus me, right? But I mean, he had to get so many knockdowns, and he got them all. So it's pretty, pretty insane. The knockdowns that he got and removals. There's just not a lot you can do when somebody gets that lucky. I don't think. All right. I mean, I could have not dacked. I could have not dacked. But um, that's all I could have done. One in nine? No. Diced. GG. Game over. Right. It is if he wants it to be, right? It's going to be very hard for me to stop him scoring in two if he wants to score. Like, he probably wants to get the draw this game, right? He probably wants to get the draw this game. If I was him, I'd want to get the draw this game. He might get the one turn. French kiss. Fantastic. <laughs> he might get the one turn, but more realistically, he's going to... Uh, it'll be 1-1 one, one at half time. He'll score quickly and then won't lose. No Kaz, fucking hell. <laughs> you can't complain about not getting a Kaz, no. <laughs> not after you literally knock over the guy with a ball, the guy who was screening, <laughs> and the guy with strength four who was also screening. <laughs> so, pretty much needed those three to all go down and got them all. And the other guy to make them not even have to dodge to score as well. So he was a pretty unbelievable fireball. Um, all, all, all... All put together, but it, yeah, it was the right. It was, it was, of course, the correct thing to do. But still, it was very lucky. That's why uh, Thingy was really mad at me, you know, uh, Guinness in the World Cup, because I said he was really lucky. But I mean, he was really lucky, you know. Doesn't mean that he played shit or that he didn't deserve to win the games that he won. But he was lucky. Saying somebody was lucky just means they were lucky.
<laughs> Can't complain though, yeah. Hello, Umblum. Oh, fuck off! <laughs> Not you, of course! <laughs> Perfect defence can fuck off. Perfect defence makes the score a little bit harder. Yeah, Poggle, it's just the start of the video, right? You can't swear for 30 seconds at the start of a video. That's the rules. Them's the rules of, uh, of YouTubes. Oh, you fucking bellend! Yeah, that's a thing. I wouldn't just make it up. <laughs> you can't use really bad words. Which, for some reason, they put C not in. The bad words. The other two bad words, you can guess which they are. Being uh, racist or homophobic are the two ones. Don't say them in chat, obviously, because you'll get banned forever. But uh, you can work out which ones those two words are. But the other one is C not. Which I think is, you know, nowhere near the level of the other words. But there you go. That's YouTube for you. Flipping Yanks. Yeah, exactly. They are like, yeah, exactly. They are hate words and that is just a swear word. It seems insane to put it on the same level as them. Oh God. Quads? No. Well, that changes things now because now I have to be sensible, doesn't it? Ugh. God. Go up here. I don't know how I'm blitzing now. I was going to blitz him. Still want to really. Look a dog, Jim. Why did I put in two assists? Oh, in case he didn't stand firm. It's like I'm an idiot. <laughs> no, it's alright. I expose him, and he goes for him. It's not the end of the world. He's got a, what, four, four? He can't four, three. See, good job I saved that reroll, was not it? Good job I saved that reroll. Why does the yellows look like? Because it was a perfect defence, Pogler. Because it was a perfect defence, okay? Not my fault. I can't help getting perfect defence done. And I couldn't dack it because I was already 1-0 down. I only had four turns.
<laughs> Escalate. <laughs> Escalated quickly. No, no, it's a gaping hole. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Oh my god, stop breaking AV with every fucking hit. Kept the other wolf as a safety, annoying. If he'd played shit, I could have just uh, got rid of one and then broken away with a movement guy, right? I mean, he's put a tackles under the ball, that doesn't matter. Glorious. One, two, three, four, five, no, six, No, I won't seven. give in until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. All we hear is Jimmy doing the ducker, doing the ducker, radio ducker. Jimmy Blood Bowl still loves you. Mmm. Glorious. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> For staying fantastic. Ah, oh, yeah! I really want to blitz his wolf. <laughs> I want to pom his wolf. I just want to fucking pom his wolf. But there's no way I can, like, get the ball and stay... Stay safe with it. Nice tackle zone, mate. Where'd you get it? <laughs> the shit tackle zone show. <laughs> Alright, then knock those two over. Screen with these two. We'll blitz with a witch. A witch can blitz. I could blitz this guy. I quite like blitzing this guy, actually. Then that lets me get... Uh, things into place. This sucks that he's now blitzable, but hey. Right, punch, punch. He can punch there. Which is alright, isn't it? But these, are, these blockers blocks are more important. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is pretty good. This protects him from the blitz, right? At least a little bit. I wanted to flex and dodge through tackle, but I didn't need to, did I? I did want to. I mean, I, the thing that I wanted the most was to blitz the fucking strength four wolf. That was what I wanted the most. But, um... Obviously, I really want to protect this guy. 
problem was is it would have been better to put the guard out in front just to have more speed down the field because obviously he's not going to stop me if he blitzes him. He's not trying to shut the door, so he wants to try and shut the door. So he probably wants to blitz with this guy and try and shut the door. And then, can he shut the door? Shut the front door. Probably. Oh, I've got a strength for a rock or witch though. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have dissuaded the uh, wolf, but I can try and tag him at the end of the turn if I'm lucky. Oh well, that stops him uh, getting forward at least. Sure, he wanted to follow there. Don't fail any dice rolls, mate. Got a full I've got a free cage at the moment though. The only thing I haven't got is someone to come round and tag the strength for a wolf. Well hey! Did feel the dice roll? Which could blitz the wolf? I mean, he's going there. Whatever happens. And then it's do I blitz this wolf or do I blitz this tackle? Blitzing this tackle, I could chain him into there, which would. Nah, it wouldn't really stop him because he'd just punch him with him. I could push him to there and then 4 3 out. Just run around. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and we'll do anything. Blitzing this guy. This guy's kind of in the way. Blitzing him would be okay. Wait, the wolf is deeper, isn't he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I quite like. I quite like him. Can he just run all the way around? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, GFI, GFI. Mm. Okay, rolling some good dice. Love to see it.
what's he really doing? Um, four, five, six, GFI, GFI, but is he, does he even do anything there? I don't think so. Double GFI into there. Why not? <laughs> Diced. Diced. Yeah, that's the thing. That's what I thought, honestly, Steve. I was thinking if I move him somewhere, does he just set up some kind of chain? Was obviously this guy's sidestep, so he's all right. It's pretty hard for him to stop an Agility 5 guy, but hey, an Agility 5 Leap guy is pretty difficult to stop, but you never know. I don't know why I went to such a fucking effort of this turn, actually. I shouldn't have tagged these, should I have just given away a free hit? So what the fuck is he going to do, even if he puts, even if he puts like, you know, two there, two there, bases the ball, I just two plus, two plus, leap, two plus, two plus, like, it's, do you know what I mean? No matter what I do, it's, no matter what he does, he can't really stop me scoring. Unless, like, the dice can, but... Just gonna, he's just gonna foul the witch. Oh, shut up! <laughs> shut up! Shut up! Diced! Comedy mega! <laughs> Most diced man in Blood Bowl! That's alright, he didn't kill her. It's okay, he didn't kill her. Yeah, that was really dumb of me. This is armor 7 as well. I just gave up two hits that didn't need to give up. Who cares if they're here? <laughs> like, literally, who cares if there's these three players here? Literally doesn't matter at all. It would have just been 1, 2, leap, 2 plus, 2 plus. So, like, three twos with dodge. And plus the blitz as well, anyway. I blitz one. I blitz one, and then it would just be two twos. So why the hell, why the hell did I offer up hits? Deserve for these players to die. Okay, only took one, good. Good. Well, I think this was bad by him because I don't think there's any point in him trying to stop the score. <laughs> I mean, there's a chance, obviously, there's a chance. And if you don't try, you know, like a one in 36 is still 3%, isn't it? So. You know, if you don't try, you definitely can't stop it. And by trying, there's a chance. But it's such a low chance that I shouldn't have worried about it. It's the big thing.
could have just put this white there, right? And it wouldn't have got the GFI. And then we would have definitely had something there. Oh no, he's, he's, he's tagged. I didn't see he was tagged. Didn't see he was tagged. He did the right play. And then got a guy removed. Wonderful. Love to see it. Love to see him getting the guy removed. Ooh, bloody hell. What's going on here? I don't have a wrestler, do I? No. I don't need it. Say goodbye. Goodbye! Uh, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, I do have to GFI. Diced. Diced having to GFI. Three, four, five, six. Can't get the seventh. There we go, one in thirty six. Let's get him off so that he doesn't uh, get served. I might as well two D him as well. So the reroll doesn't matter. So it's only one in twelve nine six. Oh, I did roll the one. <laughs> Flip me. Flip me. <sighs> yeah, but I mean, he was, he was, he, he wasn't, he wasn't going to surf him, was he? He was going to hit the, uh, he was going to hit the, one of the good players of the world. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh god, I don't really want to give him the hits on the LOS, but I mean he has got move 9. You know what? If he does it, he does it. <laughs> I thought he might be able to too, but then I realised it didn't even matter if he did because of match five. It's true, like it's literally true. No matter what, no matter what insane defence, 
you know, if Magnus Carlsen played Blood Bowl, no matter what insane defence you could come up with there, I would just have to roll some twos, wouldn't I? He did say he was shit at one turns uh, in the chat, in the Era BB Discord, so hopefully it wasn't a lie and he will fail to score here. <laughs> The fact that he'd said that made me made me think about not setting up to you know just straight backlining, but never mind. Hey. Frenzy is good against the keyhole. I don't, I've got no idea what that means. But uh, I mean, frenzy is obviously good. But what can you do? I still think this is a good set. He hasn't put a gap in his line though, so I don't know what he's doing. He needed to have a gap here to push this guy into. He should have had the gap there, the wolf there, and then he would have had him there, then he could have pushed the wolf to there, and then he could have pushed the wolf to there, and then he could have blitzed. He could have blitzed through, right? But then you still have to get the. I guess he could have given the ball to him first. Could he give him the ball to him first? Would he start in a tackle zone? Yeah, he'd have started in a tackle zone, so. Maybe he could have started here and filled up all the squares, so he could have given it to him not in a tackle zone. And then blitz through. Problem is, though, if he punches him, right? If he pushes him twice and. Powers him, he's still going to be in tackle zone. Maybe I could have had the tackler there. Maybe I should have had the tackler there. But then I didn't want him to just blitz my tackler. That was the problem. <laughs> if, he, if he failed at the one turn, I didn't want him to just blitz my tackler. I guess if it was in the final, I would have put the tackler there. In fact, both tacklers, right? I would have had, I'd have had the witch there and the pommer there, I guess. If it was the final. But instead, it's the Armour 7 Sacrifice. Up against Claw, so it's not even bad. Well, no, because he'd have to blitz with the wolf, right? He'd have to blitz with the wolf. All oh, right, I see what you I see what you're saying. Yeah, just, I don't know. Blitzing with the wolf seems really good, though, doesn't it? But yeah, if you could just blitz off and then just dodge with the wolf. You know. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> right. literally have to put a fucking blood stepper on the LOS. <laughs> this is tough because obviously I've got to turn him over to win 2-1 now and he can score at any point so what's he going to do? Look, if you elf things up and win this through leaps, etc., I may get annoyed. It is nothing personal. It is the natural response to elves helping. <laughs> I'll get upset if I don't. <laughs> I mean... The, the the witch is a hell of a weapon, isn't it? The witch is a hell of a weapon. He can't really defend against the witch. So he's probably going to want to st score pretty quickly. And that gets in the draw.
which I think a reasonable person would be happy with. We'll see. We'll see if he tries to stall it out. I mean, he could just get lucky and make loads of removals, right? He obviously hasn't. He's been unlucky so far, probably, in removals. Like, he hasn't fouled. And he hasn't got any mighty blow. So, not super unlucky or anything. But, um... And obviously, I dackered as well. So, like... So, do you know what I mean? Like, he could get... If he gets look really lucky on removals, then it becomes easy for him. I probably shouldn't have dackered. I probably shouldn't have dacked, but I don't know. Like I think, I think I was very unlucky on the wizard. I think I was very unlucky on the wizard. That's an interesting kick, isn't it? If it doesn't go out of bounds, if it doesn't go out of bounds, that's going to be interesting. And it shouldn't. Five out of three. No, well, that's a bit little to say it shouldn't, but there's a good chance that it doesn't go out of bounds. Super interesting. He's already pulling one wolf back. He's pulling both wolves to protect. Interesting. It does go out of bounds. Look at dog. Does he give it to the dog? That's the question. The dog, the strength for a dog is one way to protect against the witch. He doesn't. Oh, that is not what I would have done. But who can say if it's good or bad? I would have definitely given it the strength four dog. <laughs> One million percent to quote our good friend Adel. <laughs> One million percent I'm giving it the strength four guy. Obviously it means he can't tee off as much uh, blitzing with him, but it's like the only way to defend against the witch, isn't it? Uh, the only solid way to defend against the witch. Like obviously you can have loads of guard around the ball, but that's not as reliable as just having a strength four ball carrier. A strength four movement nine ball carrier. Yep. Hello, Leet. More or less, yeah. More or less. Oh, hey! Oh no, he got both down! Shit! Shit! No, I want to go for the win. I want to go for the win. If it's pre preservation, I'll lose 2-1, won't I? Well, hey! That's what you get for maxing blocks, dickhead! <laughs> um, no, no. Well, I mean, I'm losing, right? If I was 1-0 up, I could think about preservation and drawing 1-1. But at 1-1, I, I have to try for the win. Like, wins are not easy at all in this division. So... It's it's crazy, right? It's actually crazy with like the fact that Elliot's already beaten like Chivite and he's beaten uh he's beaten sick and he's beaten that that there Phil, hasn't he? So like Oh he's doing a re a G5 without a re-roll Fuck me and another one <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's a bit rowdy. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> that was a little bit fucking rowdy, wasn't it? Jesus Christ. That was a little bit rowdy. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Chain him into there for the extra hit. Yeah. That was more than a little bit rowdy. That was... Uh, that was exceedingly rowdy. Question is, where is everyone going in? Yeah. These guys could be. Oh, I need, I need, I need guard in there anyway to chain it, don't I? Motherfucker.
Alright, so this is a little bit little bit rowdy. Oh shut up. Shut up! I put the block in there, you know, so he wouldn't get he wouldn't get both down. He just gets full powered, but at least not AV broken, so that's nice. It is a pack of dark elves, yeah. A pack of guard dark elves. I am undefeated, yeah. I've I've won three, drawn one, and Elliot's won three, drawn one. But, um, like the, it's it's a super competitive division. It is super competitive division. Obviously, Elliot's Elliot and has Wood Elves, and I have this ridiculous dark elf team. But, like, none of the games are easy, right? None of the games are easy. Well, I say that. <laughs> um, two are easier than others. Noticeably easier on teams. Purely on teams. Without, without, judging, without judging the coaches at all, two teams are significantly worse than all the other teams, right? Squig, Squiggy's team got killed in game one. And uh, Drax's Lizardmen team started dead <laughs> so um oh classic classic uh classic uh player here from the classic necro player classic necro player straight into the frenzy trap get a kaz Get a Kaz from your Frenzy Trap. Nothing says Necro like a Frenzy Trap Kaz, does it? Hey, wonderful. Wonderful stuff. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. Hey, well, that's pretty good. I can leap into here, no? I can leap into here. And then I can only push him to there where it becomes an uphill. Apart from if I get two guards in here. Elliot. Hopefully not. How do I even get in? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh. Didn't think this through, did I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No. Can't hit from there. This is where I should have leapt from, isn't it? Fuck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Does it matter? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, it doesn't make any more actually. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Hello. Motherfucker. Hello. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ace Flamingo. Oh. Yes. Staying fantastic. 36 glorious amongst three cool years. Nine beaver pregnancies. 
You can't! <laughs> that might get me demonetized, eh? One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> <laughs> the only bad square! It's literally the only bad square! Oh my god! Oh, sorry, sorry, Fymir, sorry. <laughs> oh, I mean, I can two plus in. I can two plus in, but then it's what, a one, two, three, four to pick it up, and then a four to dodge. And then a three to dodge, and then a two to dodge. I think I have to just, uh... Maybe even stay where I am. Maybe go around the back. I mean, he's in a pickle, isn't he? What's he doing? He's going to punch him, get guarded. Or he's going to punch him, punch him. But he's going to punch things, he's going to punch things. He's gonna punch things. Maybe he comes here. No. He's gonna punch things. Maybe here. here. End the turn. Good evening, Art. <laughs> Man, that was that was pretty annoying. Anyway, uh, yeah. Thank you very much. It's Flamingo. I mean, it was great. Obviously, the removal was amazing, right? F passing the dice rolls. Uh, like, you know, obviously not the initial leap, but, but getting the getting the reroll on the leap, getting the pow, getting the removal, all amazing. They were all amazing, but flip me, what a shit bounce. Yeah, I did think about putting this guy to here to stop that 2D. But then, I think if I just get him out of the mixer, right? If I just get him out of the mixer, then I can maybe move him in next turn somewhere. Ooh, block. Block does something. Way. I mean, he is in a pickle still. He is definitely in a pickle. He might 1D over here. There's something to do, but again, I could have... I could, maybe maybe I should have put that guy over there. I don't know, I just liked having him back. And, you know, he could... Like, he's strength 4, so he can't do anything with him. So maybe the play was to put him there. That's what I initially thought. Because he can 1D him, right? Which he doesn't really do a lot. But it's something he could do. <laughs> I guess he's still in a pickle, isn't he? He is actually in a pickle. He is in a pickle. Okay. Could have gone around the back a bit. I don't really want my edge five to get punched, do I? So yeah, this is a long turn. I mean, he is in a pickle still. But yeah, I mean, obviously, I could just fail the leap in. That it could have gone. Oh, he's rolled a skull. Boo. Yeah, and then I thought about putting him over there as well. Then this would have just been a one day, wouldn't it? I did think about leaving him there. But then I thought, get away from his tackler. And that guy gets cast because of it. Fuck him. Okay, miss next is all right. Okay, well that's good, isn't it? And pickled cucumber. A bit of a pickle. Yeah, I should have. I should have put him there. I, that was my initial reaction was to leave him where he was, right? But then I thought, well, what if he hits him? But like, so what if he hits him, right? So what if he one d's him? Him two d'ing him was much worse for winning the game. Three plus. Three plus. No reroll. Doesn't matter. Any 
get to that hit. Man, he's had a good turn, hasn't he? The Kaz and the KO. From a bit of a pickleation turn, he has had some very good dice. Oh, I should have sidestepped here, then I could have chained. Oh. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> Say goodbye. Goodbye! <laughs> oh, yeah, I really should have gone there. Oh, fuck. Fuck me, that was shit. Literally followed by accident. What an absolute maroon. Because I needed that assist. And I knew I needed that assist. And I just followed anyway. I didn't need to scatter here, did I? Did it anyway because it's still on the light to taste. Literally, it was in one tackle zone in a match five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Where do I go? What do I do? The wolves are annoying, aren't they? If I go there, he can divert all of his resources to surf the witch elf. <laughs> I don't really want him to do that, but I mean, he definitely loses if he does. <laughs> so, <laughs> so let's go with this. I don't know why I scared. I could have just gone there and picked it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I would have been there. Oh, what a fool, man. I've been some. I've made some terrible decisions. Terrible decisions this game. Got to get my head in the game. Do you know what? I'm going to mute myself so I can think instead of just talking incessantly. Nah, screw the viewers, Steve. <laughs> it's a it's a right cock on it. it like I'll be too distracted setting it all up. That's the problem.
I would like him to save to fail some of these rolls against tackle. He's got a hard power me if he re rolls. This takes him away as well. Takes the other wolf away, which is nice. Ah, oh, and if he knocked it, if he pushed him again, it would have opened up this dodge out. I've done pretty well at not rolling double skulls, so in an effort to jinx myself right now, I'm going to mention that first. Um, and hopefully not start rolling them now. Well, any any dub skulls now aren't anywhere near as bad, are they? Dub skulls, dubs ones. Yeah. Who can I even hit here? It's hard to hit anybody. Cause he's got guard. I guess he could dodge out there and I could punch him and then that gives him the 2 plus dodge away. What a turn. Whew. I mean, the camera, it's a long way, isn't it, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, GFI. It is just two GFIs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It is just two GFIs. But still, it's a dodge from tackle, right? So it's a dodge from tackle or it's a one -er. So one, so either way, it's a three plus through tackle. But yeah, maybe, maybe he should have two plus three plus through there. Maybe he should have two plus three plus to show that up because like he could have gone what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven GFI. I thought I thought about trying to get him through. Like fuck's sake, hey, come on! <laughs> My tackle's doing nothing. Oh, wonderful, wonderful non-power. I mean, he's only fifty-five percent to knock me over, isn't he? So I can understand the frustration because you're like, you know, I'm hitting his blodger with my tackle. This should work, <laughs> but it shouldn't knock them over every time. Oh, wonderful, wonderful wrestle. 
absolutely fucks his fleshy next turn. Love to see it. I've had some good removals, haven't I? Mostly Rando, but some some ghouls, yeah, pretty good. Ah, oh, diced! Absolutely diced. It's the Witch Elf Blitz. I guess she does. I guess what I could do is he could bliss and the witch elf could just block. That's not terrible, is it? He can 3 plus away if I punch him. He can GFI and get a guard in. He can double GFI and get two guards in and punch with him. If I power him, does he even get closer? I've got to push him to there, which actually does get him closer, right? So I think it's better to not punch him. And maybe it's better to keep out this lino, uh, this lino, this uh, fle fleshy, and then it makes a screen with him as well around that way. Yeah, pretty. I mean, really lucky removing the ghoul on the blitz, wasn't it? The ghoul on the blitz was the luckiest one, and then this was my tackle pommer, I think, that got rid of him. Even I didn't have to pile on. And then the others were just random. Random punches. By having by having four guard. Maybe I should have re-rolled the hit on the wolf, because it's pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> it's pretty fucking good, the wolf. But then, I guess I should have done the blitz and stuff first. It is a 3 plus from tackle. Eventually he's going to fail one. Well, not necessarily. Good. Not a wolf blitz. Not a proper wolf blitz. 
could foul him. Oh, money. Can't even, uh, can't even hit him with the uh, blitzer. Yo. So. He's tagged him out, he's tagged him out. I think just blocking with him is best. He could dodge out, and then I could uh, two assist foul the wolf. Guess I can't two assist foul the wolf. Could two assist foul the wolf, but then it means freeing up this flesh. Which means putting him in, what, one, two, three, four, GFI. Put him in there, gets him a 2D and a 2D blitz. Good. <laughs> That's a big headache gone. The strength four wolf is a uh, strength four movement nine wolf is a bit of a bit of a machine, isn't he? Yeah, that's a thing. Uh, it, and he could have, you know, he could have uh, double GFI'd here. One, two, three, four. Oh no, just maybe, maybe just one GFI. Yeah, one GFI for the block and the and the blitz it was pretty strong play, I think. Let me get some more wolf down here, but then obviously I can clear the wolf with my uh, with my witch anyway. So yeah, <laughs> right play, right play. But the the removal makes it definitely correct. I think it was correct anyway. I think move nine plus like I didn't have a tackle on him, and he he was like a three plus out, wasn't he? It was like it just seemed it just seemed like I, even if I fail the foul and I don't if I don't get sent off and fail the foul. I've at least, you know, he's at least got a 4 plus 3 plus, which isn't great, is it? Or he's got a blitz with him. Free somehow. Boy, howdy. This is rowdy. Oh, it's a bit rowdy. I put tackle on him again. I keep putting tackle on the wolf. I've put ta I've consistently put tackle on the wolves. But, uh, hasn't helped me much. I mean, obviously, I've made a million KOs. Like, I, I realise that's not all of the look of the game. <laughs> it doesn't tell the entire story of the match, but you know, I have consistently applied tackle to the wolves.
So I don't want to blitz him. So he can go one, two, three, four, five, six. He can go up there, and someone else could go in here. Get out everyone except the uh Oh do you know what I can do? I can do this. Which then makes it not a stronger cage, but lets me protect the strength fall. Carry was too lazy to move. <laughs> so protected the best players. Protected the four best players. <laughs> Perfect cage. Protects all your best players. Like the opposite of my fireball cage. <laughs> like the absolute opposite of my fireball cage earlier. That was the correct thing to fireball and could have been absolutely devastating. Because it, it wasn't even like a bad fireball. It should have been a fireball target. Like, it shouldn't have been the correct play to fireball it, I guess. But it's hard, right? I don't know. What I want is, I want to make it so that if he makes the attrition fireball, it's also not the best positional fireball, right? That's what I should do. But... Um... Quads, he's, he's a 1 in 12, 9, 6 away. I can't make it 3D. So we are just quads away. Ooh, oh, I could surf the wolf. And oh, I've got a guard there. I've got a guard there. Disregard. Disregard, I have a guard. It is 3 dice. It is very unlikely. <laughs> Yeah, I was very lucky. I was very lucky with these. I mean, it made it a joke. It made the joke. It made it. It made the joke. It was the second half. The second half of the second half was a joke, wasn't it? Because of all the removals. But um. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done it, I don't know, man. I, d I don't know, like, how, I, I definitely should have re-rolled the pickup, I, I shouldn't have even handed it off, that was really asking for trouble when I did that, uh, that, that, I probably shouldn't have even done the pass or the handoff, right, whatever I did, um, that, that turn I shouldn't have done, because I think he should have fireballed the side, blitzed, and scored, tried, you know, tried the 4 plus score with his wolf. Um, so I definitely fucked up there. The cage, maybe I should have made a bit stronger against the wizard or, you know, not so good players under it. But I still think he got very lucky. I, like, I think it was the right play to, for him to fireball it. So, and although he was very lucky, maybe I could have defended against it more or made it like a less player valuable fireball, seeing as it was the right, seeing as it was the correct play to fireball. Maybe I should have made it a less valuable attrition fireball, seeing as it was a correct position fireball. Um, 
but there you go. And then obviously the rest of the match. Well, my drive was all right, wasn't it? And then his drive, he got—he was going to get into trouble anyway, right? In his drive, unless unless he made a bunch of removals, he was going to get into trouble. <laughs> you know, <laughs> unless I let you score, <laughs> you're going to get into trouble on your drive against like you know, dark elves with two strength four leap. Edge five, four guard. <laughs> you know, you you're gonna get into trouble on your drive, and then uh, and then obviously all the removals just made it made it a formality um, after he got into trouble. So yeah, good game, good game, well played, and uh, yep. Oh man, my my dice were pretty good. His his dice his dice were amazing there, by the way. Ninety two percent dodges. <laughs> I wasn't wrong about him passing every dodge away from tackle, but um. Yeah, his catches. Oh, they were scatter catches, right? His GFIs were good. My my dice were good. The uh, GFIs, yeah, eight GFIs. I knew I knew I'd, I knew I hadn't failed GFIs. The catches were bad, but they some were scatter catches, surely. Um, and that failed pickup, I should have rerolled. Yeah. And the leap, thank good, thanks God, worked. Yeah, good game, good game. I enjoyed that. An actual enjoyable game of Blood Bowl as well, isn't it? Obviously, it helped that I got <laughs> I got all of the chaos. <laughs> Even the KO on the ghoul was uh, pretty amazing, but that the misplay of scattering it could have been very costly. That was really dumb of me. Oh my god, that was literally so bad, the scatter. That was, scatter was so fucking bad. After, like, it was already in a perfect spot. Stupid of me. But anyway, below 2k TV now. Very exciting. Um, 11 players for the next match versus Elio, so now I can buy the Witch Elf. And uh, I'll have 12 players against Elio. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking if I buy a rookie witch elf, she could just get killed right by like a wolf or whatever. So uh, and give him a give him Cheney. So I thought I'll hold off on the witch elf so I can, if I haven't got a reserve versus Elio, I can buy it versus Elio. So I will buy it versus Elio now. Um, so yeah, this is going to be very exciting. Next match, next match is versus Elio. That's going to be amazing, guys. So there you go. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.